Welcome back to Limbus Company, Daily Mirror Dungeon. Now you may notice it doesn't look like we're doing a Mirror Dungeon this time, because, um, I'm surprised that I've seen literally no one make make a joke like this. But like, there's such a, there's such a perfect opportunity here. How could I not? Where I, uh... Oh god. I need to build a team. That's right, I forgot this is how they worked. God, it's been so long. Okay, I just I just thought I just threw together a team. I mean the joke the, the plan here is we're going to let Dawn take as many bites of bongies as, as she wants. We're going to try and use because Lantern Dawn's skill three at below half HP reuse the third coin. And when she reuses the third coin, she takes a giant like bite of the enemies. So I figured we might as well let Dawn have a feast on these bongies. Since that is what she, you know, does in the actual story. She just starts eating, like, the raw chicken. Now, of course, it's a little... It's a little hard to say how well this is going to go. Um... Because we need to get below half HP, and uh, that means we need to get staggered. Either that or we need to use enough... What is it? Skill 1s, I think, reduce her? Threshold, right? No, I'm thinking of something else. Does, does she even have a way to reduce her threshold? No, she doesn't. I think I'm getting mixed up with DHE -E song. Who I do have on support here because, you know... Um... I don't know. I genuinely don't know why I threw on support. I feel like I was trying to do something and then I completely forgot how his passive worked. I was probably thinking of something else. I don't know. Oh well. Well, anyways, first off, we need to get our... our Stand of the up first and foremost, so that's our first plan. We also want to use some lust skills so that we can use coffee and cranes, our starting EU gift, to it's the best we can. Oof. Might just, I think we're just dead though. Yeah, okay. Hmm. One of those days, I. There's probably some, like, significantly better, uh, support passes that could be using that would make it a lot better. I know, I'm, I'm using base mercy. I need to build uh, it up. That's the issue, really. This, the first fight's going to be the hardest, because I need to actually survive. Uh... None of this really helps. Okay. But now I can just, I can just grab the, pre the preset every time, so I can just kind of speed through it. That's definitely not the way. I mean, it might be just going for Abnos. That might be the safest option. Maybe. Fight the actual bongies themselves. Like, once again, this idea has no foresight, what, foresight whatsoever. I was just like, wait a second. We need to have Dawn, let Dawn have a feast. And yes, and, and here, here we are. I do want to do like a health chicken every once in a while. It's like base. It's the only other option over Mirror Dungeon three right now, really. Since Mirror Dungeon one is gone at this point. Okay, we're, we're, we're rebuilding up Sandy. That's good. We're building up resources too. That's nice. Unfortunately, we didn't start with coffee and cranes this time, so we're not actually building up the resources we don't have on Dawn. But that's okay. We should be able to live. If we can just do a couple of these, and then that'll probably be pretty good. Might kill a couple of them here. Excellent. This one is dead, especially because they're actually weak to Slash. And they're also weak to Lust, right? I think so. Because the joke is the fact that they were all weak to Chef Ryoshi's skill 3, so she was, like, really good for the Kanto. Of course. And now we can get you to level 30, so you should be doing a lot better now. We can give you an A-Left Ego for some reason. That'll be real helpful. Yeah, I feel like it's going to be impossible to actually make it so that she's going... So that she can... Get, uh... Blue half chi. Unless we we have to do it like before a fight. Like we need to get down to like one bong eat, let it attack us, let it stagger us. 
and then see how we go from there, I guess. That, that, that's that's the best idea I have. I'm, I'm gonna execute that one, too, because the hat ones just give protection to all allies and therefore are just nuisances. This Bongi thinks it's a chef. And it survived the skill 3, even. Ugh. Okay, we can just go, go for a barrage of skill 2s now. Should do pretty good here, since they're all weak to it. Yeah. These guys' protection is not saving them. Oh. That might save them, though. Okay. That's fine. Also, I really want to get the Rupture Ego Gift, because if you get the Rupture Ego Gift, she'll be able to fully just rupture gaming all on her own. Okay, do we want to try... I want to see if we can try taking some damage here. Okay, nothing's gonna happen here, of course. We're gonna start slowing sanity. The issue, I think, is we're probably going to shield this, mostly. And, uh, on use... Heal HP with remaining shield HP. I don't know if we physically can, like... Yeah. Oh, well. We're just gonna hope we get, like, a miracle and get, like, an om nom nom just, like, coincidentally at some point. Get a, get a whirlwind om nom lucky. Yeah, because we took bottom path, we're not guaranteed to get both of the actual Bongi events, so we might not get the rupture chicken. Uh, sure, you. We actually don't get either of them, that's not great. Oh no, we get this one, right, right. I just genuinely did not see that one for a second. We need to do three normal fights, though, which might be a little iffy. Very well might be. We do have egos, though. And we've used enough lust that we... I don't know, right. I forgot. That's an, that's another big issue here. Um, That being, because this was added, like, before Mirror Dungeon 2's time, we, we, don't, we only carry over half of our resources between fights. That's right. Okay, we staggered one of these guys, at least. If they get us below half, like, we might be fine. Okay. Once again, if they get us below half here, we might be fine as well, because I think we're going to get some staggers off here. Whirlwind Nom Nom is going to do decent damage. Heal us up a bit. But we are weak to the blunt and, the, and the, that sort of stuff. So we're just barely not staggered. Okay, this turn we're definitely going to be staggered shortly. Luckily, we get to attack first, thanks to having higher speed than the fastest enemy. Although we don't have any skill threes, so we can't do any healing things. They're probably killing us next turn, though, yeah. Because if they get quite a few attacks on us here... Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a stagger plus. Not good. We'll just give up. We can just, like, re-roll for good, for good runs, because... That's, I mean, that's all we can do here. Shh. Could get through three fights, though. It's possible. It's possible. But if we do this all and we don't even get the rupture chicken from the Bongi event, uh... It'll, it, it will not feel great. <laughs> Okay. Ugh. A little bit of damage. Luckily, they're getting a lot of tails. Okay, just barely didn't get staggered. And we have enough speed that we should be able to... I don't even know if we'll get the third coin off here. They might just die. That would be unfortunate. If so... Yeah, that is very unfortunate, because now we get staggered. We take a fair bit of damage. And we're probably dead, I presume. Oh? So close. 
That was just that was really close. They just if she survived that one attack, she would have been golden. Yeah, you know, this is this is just gonna be what this video is all about. Just just resetting for good luck. Which isn't is definitely not the most interesting thing, but oh well. It is necessary for the sake of the funny run. We also get lucky with the skills we draw. Oof. There's an immediate stagger. Yeah, it doesn't look great. <laughs> it's funny just like, because I'm like, I'm pretty like Lob Corp is like pausing, unpausing to like slowly progress time. I'm sure I don't need to do it like that necessarily if I'm trying to make sure I reset, but like if I if I wait too long to reset, I, I, I can't. So timing is everything. Timing is key. Okay, I'll just straight up staggress. I don't like, I don't like the odds of that. I'd like to at least get one staggered immediately, you know? And skill one's unlikely to actually do that for us. Mm, they might do. It's, it's, it's Slash. They're weak to Slash. Oh no, they're not. That's the guy that's not weak to Slash. The other guys are weak to Slash. <laughs> Yeah. Decent HP, they're all attacking. That's a no. That's a no. We need to get like a slash attack off on one of the ones with the bongy heads, and then we'll probably be in, in a decent spot. But then we just gotta hope that the other attacks don't stagger us. Like, there's bongy head guys, so we can get flashing over. That'll definitely stagger you. 3 coin, 3 coin, 1 coin. Speaking of staggering, oof. Okay, stagger, and then the one coin goes off. Oh no, that was a three. That's a three coin. Okay, not a lot of HP, but if they defend a bunch, they're not defending a bunch. Yeah, that checks out. Okay, only skill one's unfortunate. Definitely not gonna go the distance, although it's decent. Maybe I should wait longer before I start resetting in case I get super lucky, but I figure like it's probably best to just pull the trigger for most of these fights. I'm keeping my- we're gonna need to do this three times in order to actually get to the end. Which is a couple of times. This looks like a decent start, actually. One of the, um, was defending, so we're only gonna take a couple hits. Yeah. Only a couple, ooh. I can just watch like this, I guess. Whenever they get like tails and stuff, like it does, it is not doing a lot of damage. But it's doing enough damage is the issue. We, we were a little close that time. I don't think we would have been able to heal up enough is the issue. Okay, uh, I guess we're attacking the person who's blocking this turn. That's unfortunate, but uh, fine. It's not fine. I just gotta listen to the dawn death noise. And that's when I press the button.
like that, yeah. Hmm. Really would have benefited from thinking this through, like, at least a little bit more. Because my passive choices were not great, but it's it doesn't matter that much. I don't think that's, you know, the downfall of this run. Since we're just unable to build up resources to actually be able to trigger the passives anyways. Okay. It's potentially good. Hard to say. I'm trying to think, what EO gifts even are in Hell's Chicken Dungeon? What is there for healing? Is there like, there's like phlebotomy pack, I want to say? I might be wrong about that. I don't know if there actually is phlebotomy pack. I, that's what my mind is saying, though. Which could be a little nice, that's for sure. But on the other hand, I don't know. Coffee and Koreans would have been really nice to just build up resources of just everything. Then we would have been able to at least get like Sangre de Sancho off or something when we if we if we direly needed to. Is there Thunder Branch? Is there I don't remember what they have for Rupture. There's Talisman Bundle. I don't know. That's an ouch. Don't know, I should, I, should, I should have been keeping count or something. I guess I didn't realize just how many times I'd need to reset. This is basically like what needs to be done for, for most solo runs in general. Getting a full solo run on like a mirror dungeon or hell's chicken dungeon or something like that is pretty iffy, like without resetting. Oh? Not bad. Okay, that's a good start. You to execute you. will take a... I think we'll take too much damage, though, yeah. Doesn't look great. We're learning for this pesky stagger there, shall be. You get, like, below half HP and then heal up a bunch of HP. Okay, we're doing it. We're going the distance. We actually are. Oh, huh. that's nice. I need to not throw now, though. I'm probably jinxing myself horribly by saying this. Well, if nothing else, we're staggering some of them. That's decent. Will be decent enough. So far, so far things seem fine, but I need to st I need to remain lucky is the thing. A bad roll, especially with a skill one, will just result in death. Please roll in nom nom noms. Will do us wonders. And just getting our HP up to decent thresholds. Even if the enemies do resist them. That's fine. All that matters is that we're using them in the first place. And you die? Okay. So just see you guys left. Like that. Okay. That's something. Really is something. We are healing on hit thanks to having aggro in some slots. Not on the staggered guy, of course, but on the guy who is targeting us. That's good. Okay, yeah, so we, we can definitely do this. And now we're in a much better spot HP-wise for the next fight, because we're, I think we're at max. 152, I believe, is max at this level. I want to say, actually, I don't, I don't actually don't have any clue, though. Just purely a guess on my side, really. And 167 is the max of this level. Yeah, I don't, I don't know level 30 HP maxes. I think I'm getting mixed up with something. Okay. These guys, it's only the bongies, so this should be a relatively easy time. These guys really do a lot less damage, and they're also going for slash attacks, which are neutral, too. They are stacking up bleed, though, so we could end up bleeding ourselves to death. Which is starting to seem like a decent possibility based on that bleed, but we managed to spend it all. 
Flashing Lure can get us a stagger. And a little bit of healing, and just a kill straight up. Okay. <laughs> nice. Rubin Dom Nom, heal us to full. Or not full, but you know, heal us decently. I'm not sure to heal us to full. Good stuff. And now there's just one guy left who really shouldn't be able to do much at all. Yeah. There's also two guys left. I don't know why I said one. I guess I was forgetting a guy. It happens. Sometimes you forget a guy. Those are words to live by. But there we go. We're at full HP and we just need to do one more fight. If it goes anything like that one, um, we should be pretty good. Bob oh, Bongi's gonna be, you know, a different story entirely on how that fight's gonna go. I may want to, like, just try stalling this fight or something, build up a bunch of resources. They are K-Corp enemies, that is the thing. So they definitely can be stalled out. Oof. We definitely want to make sure we've got passives and egos ready next fight. If we go for, like, an immediate, like... Stu, that could be good? I'm trying to think. You're blocking the coward you are. We resist the pierce attack, so that's good. We're building up speed slots, but they're still using a fair few of little scary attacks. We are weak to blunt and wrath so stuff like this, this attacker is potentially scary got two tails there i mean good thing we still like won the clash thing like actually getting heads in the actual damage thing portion is not as important as getting heads in the clash right that's the thing that like scares me just failing a clash and then taking a bunch of damage and getting staggered because of it would not be fun Well, we've got a bunch of rupture. We're, we're maintaining these because rupture is pretty well, just because Lantern Dawn's rupture is kind of like insane. Especially a rupture count. Like rupture count's the kind of thing that's definitely like never like too frequent. Even rupture IDs need to like kind of have a careful balance. But with Dawn, you can kind of be willy nilly then use a skill two to get them back up with rupture. Like it works out super well. Okay, one down. This guy's also definitely dying to the skill too. So there's only the actual bongy headed ones left, and they're not doing too much to us anyways. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see, we wanna do this? Into this, I believe. I think that's the strat. Get enough lust so that we've got a decent bit to carry over. I mean, we might have too much, actually. Yeah, we're just gonna kill. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We've got enough lust that we should just be able to immediately lifetime stew next fight, if we so desire. I don't know if that's gonna be a great move, though. That's just, you know, a safety thing. I probably should have built up more gl gloom so we can trigger passives and stuff. Oh, perfect. We get the dry to the bone breast. When we're playing rupture using skill flex and flick plus five rupture count for some insane reason. And we get ashes to ashes too, sure. Not very good for us, but it's something. That's okay, it's bongy time. We'll see how many tries this one's going to take. Because chances are it's going to be a couple. Yeah, okay, we're definitely going to need to clash you. That's like, the without a doubt, that is the case. And we can hit some of the other guys at the same time, potentially do some decent damage. But like, we if we get hit by this, we do just straight up die, because we are weak to it. Actually, what's the resistances on this looking like? It's neutral to Wrath. Okay, then we're going to be in a much better spot than being weak to Wrath. We're still going to be weak to Blunt, and they're basically all going for Blunt attacks, I'm fairly certain. So, it's not the best still, but... It's slightly better. 
We didn't stagger either of those guys, though. Or did we, and they just didn't sell us? Okay. We're fine. Our sanity is not as nearly as fine, though. Um, we're going to need to just double clash you, probably. As much as I'd like to kill some of these guys. Oh, we're not winning those clashes, though. Hmm. What about these? Yeah, no. Can we block? Unlikely. Hmm. Do we just ignore you and get staggered? I think that's an awful idea. I don't really want to kill these guys either, but I might need to. Hmm. We do now know that immediately starting with the mass attack is going to be super beneficial. Because we'll only take a couple attacks. We do not have a great set of skills this turn. And you do some stupid sanity damage, yeah. Probably SP to each enemies for all raw chickens in battle. And I think we took some SP damage from like one of your attacks or something. Like a... No? Oh yeah, yeah like deal 5 SP damage, stuff like that. Okay. Well, we'll just gamble. Who knows? Maybe it'll work. Not really my, any other options here. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Decent first attempt. We at least survived a single turn. That's that's like that's like my bar for success. Like if we at least do that, and we're, we've got a solid start, you know. Do this, hit you, we're gonna take some SP damage once again, and we just gotta hope we're gonna be fine with that. Unfortunately, that attack got to go first this time, so we took the damage while we were still weak to Wrath, which is unfortunate, very much so. But that's okay, we got heads here, we'll do some decent damage. And then the other guy staggers us, presumably. Oh no, we healed up from that, okay. That's right. Yeah, we've got a rolling dom nom nom. Does this change anything here? Not really. What if I just try, like, getting some, like, random attacks off here? Yeah, we miss. Unfortunate. We can kill you, at least. Yeah, no, okay. Killing the bongies is another recipe for disaster, because that turn he was going for four things because he was, you know, summoning more bongies too. We just need to stall. And I do not know what's the best way to go about doing that. I don't know if the mouse deck is the way, but I, I think I feel like we have to, right? Stacking Rupture would be insanely good, though, and if we mass stack, we're not stacking Rupture on, like, any of the enemies. Okay, we take a little bit of damage here. A little bit of damage here. Okay, we're not in the worst position, but our Sandy is negative 20, so we are kind of in the worst position. Especially because he's outspeeding us this turn, yeah. That's hopeless. Cool. Just gotta just got risk it. That's that's the strat here, and uh, it's it's not working. Yeah. <laughs> Stagger Threshold on Paul Bongi himself is pretty far back. Yeah, like that, that doesn't seem too likely. Yeah, we need to do like 250 or so damage to the body. Which is already resisting our attacks. Okay, let's try let's try mixing things up. Let's try flashing lure this attack instead. Then we're weak to wrath though, and we <laughs> yeah okay. I, I I get the issue. I get the problem. Game. Thank you for displaying it so elegantly. Okay. Hmm.
스페셜한 기운이 느껴지. 면밀히 짚어보고 나아가는 게 어떤. Thank you, Yisang, for feeling the special energy. Fair thing. It's the turn we did more speed, so we could have tried clashing and fob bonging normally and seeing how that went, but uh, oh well. I'd like to get the stew out of the way. We got tails this time, which means we don't do as much damage as the bongies, but we should still stagger them. Yeah. Yeah. What if we just one side you a bit? That's a bad idea, yeah. But like, we get a whirlwind on nom nom off here, and you do have a lot of rupture count. Not enough though, yeah. Survive a little bit, but that guy. <laughs> what? <laughs> was that just like a perfectly fine, like sprite animation type deal that the bongi just looked like it was just on the end of Dawn's spear or lance? I don't know if you saw that, but that was very interesting looking. <laughs> They look pretty lively, they sure do. It's because they're the boss, and you know they're all souped up because of that, Ishmael. This is interesting hearing just various announcers like, oh, this is a boss fight type quotes. Very silly. Yeah, Bottom Guy burns to death this turn. Struggling, yeah, makes sense. We'll try this. Because we win a clash there, we get some sanity. Then we're doing this so we can potentially heal up a little bit against the chicken bucket. Not a lot though, yeah. Hmm. Once again, hope, hope, hope isn't exactly the best right now. That's for sure. We 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 feeling hopeless in this one. Um. Hmm. You definitely do it. Let's try. Let's try rolling down, 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 and while we've got more speed against this. Let's see how this goes. Assuming we win the clash. Because we'll have, we'll take more hits from the bongies, but we also will stack a little bit of rupture on you. Not a lot though, because our only big like rupture potency inflictor is the skill too. Yeah, we just get staggered. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Decisions, decisions. And my decisions, I mean, just keep on going until we get lucky. To keep on going until we get lucky. Will I ever make it to turn three? Leave your, leave your bets below. Um. I get outspeed by the <laughs> bongy this time. Alright. Be like that. Bonk, bonk. Okay, um. Praying doesn't seem to be doing us enough here. Yeah, struggling. We try blocking one of them. I'm curious to see how that would go. Okay, we'll try something like this. We do this just for the little bit of healing we get. Not a lot of rupture on target, so it doesn't heal the most. But, yeah, it's, it's nowhere near enough. We do actually survive a turn. But that's not much better for us. Oh, no, we corroded! Oh! Is that the win condition? Oh, we can clash the bad attack. Okay. That's, that's something. Unfortunately, we're only doing one. Would have been great to do a little more than that, but that's fine. That's all right. It's something, that's the thing. And are we are we dead? Probably, because we're corroded. We're going to take a bunch of damage from his attacks. But, like, that's probably something to work towards. Yeah, okay. 
Pinata. That'll be our plan then, okay? Turn one, we mass attack. Turn two, I guess we block multiple attacks, try to reduce damage taken, see if it reduced enough damage so that we can barely survive, barely cling on to life, and hope we get a lot of mass attacks turn three. All right, the, the plan is forming. Is it a good plan? Is it a good plan? That's, that's, that's what I'm asking you. Maybe. The answer is a solid maybe, I guess. Could be, could, it could be a decent plan. I do know Corrosion is super powerful in soloing. That's the only reason people can, like, solo Chrome or just in general. The enemies also need to not get as many heads, but... Oh, well. Okay. We try that, potentially. Reduce damage taken. Doesn't work if you get all heads, though. <laughs> That's for sure. That's for sure. Okay. We've got we we've got the, we've got the game plan though, and then you know what? Um, I won't make it a suffer through. I'm gonna stop recording. Again. I'm just gonna start recording again next time I make it to turn three, and uh, we'll 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 see how that goes. Soup first. We love soup. Okay, this is the exact same run I just stopped recording on, but we we've, we've managed to get lucky here. Um. Okay, and this is also this is actually really lucky. Can we clash against that at all though? Doesn't look like it, oof. Yeah. It's, uh... Targeting, like, everything but what we need to target in order to live. Um, that's okay. We can potentially benefit here. Maybe. We just, we, just gotta, we just gotta double up on these and hope we do a decent bit of damage. That's really all we can do. We do have speed. Mass attack gaming time. Inflicting burn count. We're not really inflicting burn potency, but we are stacking burn count on the enemies. <laughs> Got some kills. Potentially. Die next turn, probably. Ten HP. No, we, we we die this turn is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. You know what? I'm sure this is possible, but uh, it really seems like unfortunately Dawn is not going to get her fees. This is kind of what I get for attempting other Hell's Chicken solo. They never work. They they ju they just never work. But I keep on trying them because I'm like, oh, what if it works this time? And to forget about the issue being you can't stack stuff out of your resources without being like awfully like stally in one of those stages. And I definitely could have like attempted that at least. But I didn't feel like it. I did it my all once again. Like a lot of solo runs where I just throw myself against the end boss and it doesn't work. Like I could keep on going for a while, but. After resetting so many times, it just really does not feel genuine to me, and I just kind of have lost interest. But yeah, unfortunately, you were not able to get a big bite of chicken. How sad is that? If you had a way to reduce your, like, stagger threshold or something, or a way to not get staggered when you're below half HP, that would be nice, but, uh, also wishful thinking. Anyways, that'll be all for this time. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next episode. Bye.